Anthony Scaramucci has been uh, axed. He's been fired as the White House communications director. Um, he was hired about 11 days ago, 10 days ago, 11 days ago. Mm, now he's fired. <laughs> oh, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard in my life. Okay, so um, this is a guy who... Okay, this is all real. I know it sounds fake, but it's not. It's real. He wasn't at the birth of his kid because of Trump's uh, inauguration. That's how much of a Trump fanboy he is. He texted his wife and said, Oh, congratulations. You and the kid are in my press. You're in my press. She divorced him when she was like nine months pregnant. Because all he was just Trump all the time. He was never there. Trump, 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 Trump. Um, so he wasn't there for the birth of his kid because of Trump. He sold his... He had a hedge fund on Wall Street. He sold it to go work in the Trump White House. Now, understand. So he was supposed to get a position earlier on, and apparently Priebus didn't like him. He's like, I don't think so, dog. And Trump was like, okay, I'll listen to, to the Priebus, Priebus over here. Tremendous, believe me. And so, uh, Priebus apparently blocked him from getting a position earlier on. But, uh, Sean Spicer recently was fired slash left, whatever. And, uh, Scaramucci got the position of, uh, White House Communications Director. Priebus says, I'm out skis because, uh, Scaramucci's been bad mouth and Priebus all over the place in the press. He accused Priebus of leaking his financial documents to the press or something. And meanwhile, Scaramucci's financial documents leaked because a journalist tried to get them from the Export-Import Bank and they were publicly available. Uh, so he's just been accusing Priebus of shit. And then there was the famous interview in, in The New Yorker where... He, he started ranting against other people in the White House to Ryan Lizza, uh, who was the journalist, and he's like, Yeah, look, man, you gotta tell me who's leaking to you. You gotta tell me. You're an American. You're a patriot. And for your country, you gotta tell me who's leaking out of this White House. And uh, he said, Look, I'm not Steve Bannon. I'm not trying to suck my own cock and build my own brand off of Trump. He's, he said about um, Priebus, He's a paranoid schizophrenic. I'm not a, uh, he's a paranoic. I'm not, you know, I'm not like that. Meanwhile, again, he's wrongly accusing Priebus of leaking shit to the press. So, so he's the one that's more paranoid schizophrenic than Priebus is. But this is like, it's fucking real housewives of DC, man. That's what this is. So, uh, Trump ended up firing him. Now, get this. The reason that's been given, uh... Oh, <laughs> the reason that's been given behind the scenes is people say, oh, Trump was mad because not because Scaramucci did like the over the top rants and using all the language and stuff. He said, no, he was mad that Scaramucci was starting to get the limelight. So he's like, attention's been off me for about three hours today. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. We're going to have to let him go. We're going to have to let him go. And then this is a move that e that pisses off a lot of Trump's base. Because they say, like, uh, what's his face? Mike Cernovich, who was a huge Trump guy, was talking about this. And he said, yeah, now who the fuck is going to go work for Donald Trump other than a swamp thing? Because he's proving that people who are loyal to him, he's not loyal back to them. So now nobody in their right mind, if they have other options, is going to go work for Trump. So, it, it, a little child. You have the limelight. I don't like it. We're going to get rid of you. The guy was there for like 10 days or 11 days. Sold his business and got a divorce with his wife. Oh, that's just so sad in so many ways. And then the, re the official reason the White House gave, they said, oh, um, uh, yeah, no, there's there's nothing weird going on here. The reason why Scaramucci chose to step down, they didn't say fired him, said he chose to step down because Trump picked a new uh, chief of staff. It's no longer Priebus. It's now uh, General Kelly. And he's like, they said, oh, 
Scaramucci wanted to give Kelly the opportunity to fill out all new positions. They just hired you fucking 10 days ago, 11 days ago. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, but uh, I gotta give the new um, uh, chief of staff room to operate. So you're stepping down because the guy who you hated, Priebus, lost his job as chief of staff. That makes absolutely no sense. Man, the, the thing about the Trump administration is they really do all like the the personal level bickering that usually was kept more under wraps in previous even hideous administrations. They they it it just all hangs out, man. It's like a dysfunctional family at a family reunion or something. They just can't help themselves. I mean, you can call it what it is, not intelligent, low quality people. I mean, what the fuck else am I supposed to make of this? I mean, the guy, Scaramucci, there's a story that I saw the other day. Scaramucci paid like 10 grand or 15 grand or something to get in the movie Wolf of Wall Street. To be like a Wall Street douchebag. Scaramucci's the kind of guy who like watched the original Wall Street movie and uh, jerked himself off. Or I'm sorry, Wolf of Wall Street was the Leonardo DiCaprio one, I think. Or maybe it was Wall... No, I'm not sure if... if um. Uh, Scaramucci got in the newer Wall Street, or if he got in the Wolf of Wall Street movie. I don't know which one he got in, but he paid to be in one of them. Can you imagine how big of a loser you have to be? <laughs> I need to be in that movie because I'm a big Wall Street head honcho guy, you understand me? So, uh, I'm gonna- I'll pay to get in that movie. Ugh, like this really is a guy who would jerk off to the original Wall Street every scene Gordon Gecko talks. He's like, yes, that's exactly what I want to be like, yes! So, um... These guys are so chaotic and so ridiculous and running the country, Real Housewives of D.C.